Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTube. Thanks for joining me on the channel today. And I have not recorded in a while. I have been pretty busy and really more or less not really inspired to do much recording. Uh, but because I have a new product in, I decided to go ahead and put some video together. And so what do we have here in front of you are a, well, well it's three pairs of Allen Edmonds shoes that I own and we're going to talk about them, but we're going to talk to them, talk about them in relation to what I just purchased. And that would be something from what Alan Edmonds calls their factory seconds. So what are factory seconds? Well, those are shoes that basically didn't make the cut, right? They didn't meet some type of quality or, you know, or something that, uh, caused them to, not be able to be sold in a retail store or you know retail environment. So I have a pair of, of uh, factory seconds here that I'm going to open. It is it's the Carlisle model. And but before we do that, let's go through and look at. Well, we're going to compare the, the factory second to some of these retail models to see if there's any difference or see if we can notice any difference uh, between the retail model or the, uh, as opposed to the factory second version. So I have in order the, the, the shoes that I have purchased in order and starting with over here, this is the Liverpool, which is a Chelsea boot, as you can see, and it's in Walnut. And I actually purchased these from Joseph A. Bank, I believe or men's warehouse. Uh, I think it's Joseph A. Bank. Um, and this was my first, you know, dive into quote unquote high quality shoes. And they were expensive because I bought them full price. But when I tried them on, they felt so exquisite. You know, the leather, leather is super soft. And of course, being boots, they're comfortable with the elastic here, which uh, which identifies a Chelsea. And so they are they're they're really nice. I need some some other colors. But one thing I really like is is the rubber sole at on the bottom here. Well, it's a leather sole, but the the rubber um, I don't know what they call an insert or or whatever cover or whatever. But, and I've had these since, uh, I think about March of last year. I had them for, since about March of last year. And I wear them, you know, I wear them warm enough. But you, as you can see, the soles are, are pretty good with this rubber on there. So it's, uh, I like these. These are nice. Now, um, the one thing about the Allen Edmonds is, you know, you see the stitching you can see the stitching here on the sole. Let's see if I can get closer to that. Let's see if I can get in the light and get closer. Uh, so it's not very, I guess you could say refined. Not re very refined uh, as as other shoes. You know, the stitch dens density density is uh, not very high, I guess but they are high quality shoes. Goodyear welted, which identifies good quality. And like I say, this leather is super, super duper soft. Love it. So that's those. And th these are, <clears throat> these are, have a, a soft square, soft square toe. And another thing I'm gonna talk about is the last and I had no idea what the last was until last year, because before then, you know, I just purchased Johnston and Murphy or Cole Hahn. And, you know, before I knew better, thinking that those were high quality shoes and, and usually they were pretty expensive. And, you know, I used to think like many of you may have that, okay, $300 versus $150 
it can't be that much of a difference. But when you get into the shoes, you you realize that there is. So these are the second pair that I purchased. I actually purchased these from the store and it was funny because I walked in the store with these on, with my Chelsea's on and <laughs> the rep said, or asked me if I, if I purchased the Chelsea's from them. And I said, no, I actually purchased them across the street at Joseph A. Bank. And they didn't realize that their shoes were being sold in Joseph A. Bank, but they were. So I purchased these from the retail store and these are the Park Avenues, which are considered to be the most popular, uh, popular shoe that Allen Edmonds offer, be, offers because it is, you know, your classic uh, Oxford, Capto Oxford. And this one is in the ox blood color, Let's see if you, which is, you know, basically a, a reddish brown. And they're dull right now because I, I need to shine them, but I, I really like these too. Now, one, one reason I'm going to talk about the last is these are on the 65 last, which is not bad. But once I start trying on different shoes and realizing that, you know, the same size offers a different fit, I started to, to wonder, you know, what last would fit me better. And so what I did was I researched the Chelsea's last, right? I researched the Chelsea's last and kind of, uh, just reading if you go to the Allen Edmonds website, we'll do that in a second. We'll get on the computer and look at the Allen Edmonds website to look at the last that they offer. But I figured since these uh felt so good on my foot, fit me so well, I would try try to find a shoe version that fit me, uh, you know, a shoe version and that would fit me just as good as these these did. And so in doing that, that led me to these which happens to be at the moment my favorite shoes these are the allen edmonds cornwallis and they are in walnut and it is an adelaide with a medallion on the toe and i happen to like these shoes i like the adelaide how it looks. And one thing I like about the Allen Edmonds is uh, it kind of keeps the rear. It doesn't have a, I guess, I think you call it a heel counter where you have a, some, you know, look, kind of looks like a patch back here. These don't have, kind of looks like a patch back here. So it would, you know, come here, kind of curve around and curve around here. Whereas in the Allen Edmonds, it's, it's, you just have a single stitch down the middle, a vertical stitch here, and then some stitching back here. So uh, I like how clean it looks from, a, you know, from the side. And what, what makes it an Adelaide is this sort of um, piece right here. It's kind of like a um, tongue, I think they call it or something. But these are, I love these. And they are exquisitely comfortable in, on my foot. And that's because they are the shoe version of the Chelsea. So one thing you should do when you're looking for your shoes, if you can get to a store and try on different, you know, instead of trying on different, um, maybe colors or different, you can try on different models because some models, you know, go across the same, like, like these are built on the 65 last, which are the, the park avenues. And then they have the fifth avenues, which are the same shoe, except they have some broguing. You, I think you call it quarter, quarter brogue. There's some broguing across the cap toe here. Those, those would be the fifth avenues, but they are on the same last. So try to ask the associate to show you shoes because they have cap toe versions on the 65 last or cap toe versions on the 64 last or the 201 last, you know, or whatever the case may be. So you should try on different lasts to see, 
if your foot will fit better in it. And what happens is, you know, the, they call this area the toe box. You know, the toe box may be wider. If you can look at this one, this toe box is wider than the 65 here. And also the forefoot, you know, starting here, it gets wider than on this one. And so, and then you may have a higher or lower instep, right? So you got, you can look at those types of things. So these are the Cornwallis, and I really love those shoes, my favorites uh, of the Allen Edmonds that I have. So now let's open up and see what I have purchased for the factory second sale, right? We have a box here. Alan Edmonds, Alan Edmonds, you have Carlisle. Carlisle in 10 and a half D, and the color is chili. D chili, I think it's dark chili actually, but let's see. We'll open the fire, you have your plastic. We have one shoe. We have two shoes. Okay. And I really want to see how it compares to the Oxblood as well. Okay. So these are the Carlisle and they are a plain toe Oxford. And I really prefer, uh, I really don't, I, I really prefer something on the toe um, other than just being plain like a medallion, like those Cornwallis have. But these are these are actually nice being the plain toe Oxford. So here we have them. And we're going to just look at them and see if we can identify what made them a factory second. But let's first compare them to see if I can get some more light out here on here. Let's first compare them to the Oxblood. And really, there's not much difference. I think you get more brown in the chili than the oxblood. Yeah, you get a little more brown than red. Um, these Park Avenues, they have a black on these on the sole, and then this one has a brown sole. You know, I, I I can say I like the tone more. I like this tone more than the Oxblood. It's sort of a richer, more rich tone. Yeah. So let's look and see the details to see if we can identify what makes them a factory second. So looking at them. I guess it'd be kind of hard unless you had a retail version of the same shoe. Looking at the heel, there's a little mark there. I'm not sure if that was, if that was a box like that. Hmm. And again, I don't know, just looking at the color, you can see this little where the where the leather meets here. It's kind of raised. So I'm sure that is not supposed to be like that. And also um I don't know. It's, it seems like the, the colors is varied more. Like this is a dark, dark brown. This is a light brown on the heel. And it kind of stands out. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that. Let's see. And one thing also, let me see. Let me take these out. These feel a lot lighter than the Park Avenues for some reason. I'm not sure why. They feel um, feel a lot lighter. Maybe it's the sole. And actually, this this is a different sole on here than than this one. I 
I'm not sure why. It's almost like a, and I guess it's leather, but it's, I think that's where the weight difference is coming from. Yeah, because these, you know, these are pretty stiff. Not stiff in a bad way, but stiff as in supportive. Well, these are too, but I don't know. Handcraft USA of fine imported leather. It has the Allen Edmonds there. I don't know. These, these just feel a little thin. They feel a little thin. And again, I'm not sure if they're supposed to be like if they're made that way. I don't know because I don't have a, a version to compare it to. But so I'm not really sure. I, you know, this part here, like I said, you can see the line from where this this part is stitched to this part the vamp i, I guess you i guess this is called is, is stitched to this toe part um there's double stitching here and i'm not sure if that is supposed to be because you have triple stitching on the park avenues you have three lines of stitching here and there's only two lines of stitching here you see how the same stitch line here and maybe we can go online and see if we can get a close-up shot, see if that stitching is correct. But other than that, I don't see anything that's, you know, just jumping out at me. So we're gonna get them all polished up and we'll put them on our feet at some point but i wanted to just show you guys the factory seconds and if you have a chance to take advantage because it may be something minor you know minor that uh you can get a real good deal on these i paid 149 for these and you're talking you know it's pretty much 50 percent off and they have this sale every year factory seconds now if if it's not the time for factory seconds then what you have to do is go to a shoe bank i think it's www.shoebank.com and they have online all the available factory seconds and they're in different places like in different stores so outlet stores uh it may be the port washington the the headquarters location it may be in north carolina it could be in um you know wherever i forget where where they're all at it's like six or seven across the nation and what you do is if you find one that you like you can email the store and they can verify that it's there and then you can arrange to uh, make payment and have the factory have it shipped to you and that way you can take advantage of a discounted price for a high quality shoe that may not be perfect according to alan edmonds all right so uh what we're going to do next is go online and i'm going to show you how to look for the last on the alan edmonds website man i love these shoes and we are back so let's go to the alan edmonds website and have a look at these last uh first let's see if the factory second sale is still going on and i, I was sent an email and the email said to type f2 in the search i believe or something and that takes you to the factory seconds shoes and boots as you can see here and they are still going on the sale is still going on so these are the Carlisles that I just purchased. You can see they're available in Walnut, in the, uh, that would be the dark chili, and then that would be the black. And a lot of the, a lot of, a lot of these certain colors are a different price. And I noticed that with the Carlisles that I purchased, the, Dark Chili, this is actually maybe, well, let me click on it. This actually maybe uh, Oxblood. 
but the dark chili was was less than the others. There it is there. I'm not sure. I won't let me click on it. But anyway, so you can see there's here. It's just moving slow. Now it's giving me the um, Park Avenue. So anyway, you can see that the uh, factory seconds is in fact still going on. There's Corn Cornwallis there, the Adelaide. And if you're looking for some good, pretty good deals, you can find them as factory seconds. And it shows you everything that's available there. 249, if you're looking for some loafers. There's some corn wallets there in black and you know, it looks like a lot of shoes on the page, but really it's just a different color of the same shoe. I don't know why they just don't, you know, put them all together or group them all together, but it just makes it seem like there's a lot more shoes than it really is. A lot of more, a lot more variety of shoe than there really is. But anyway, so let's look at the last that are available from Alan Edmonds. I usually just type a search up here, go to all about last, and this will explain some of the lasts that are available. And just first off, uh, the 65 last is, is known more simply as the five last. And this is the one that the Park Avenue is built on, uh, also the Fifth Avenue. But if you read the descriptions, you can get a better idea of what the last is offering. So for this one, the 65, it says it is best for a long, narrow look, often the best, best fit for those with high arches. So if that is you, if you have a high arches, this may be the one you need to look for. Uh, if you come up here to the 64, this is an adaptation from the famous 65. Classically, the 64 is slightly roomier across the ball and forefoot of the foot, providing a more relaxed fit. This last keeps all the same defining characteristics of the 65, but it's slightly longer for an updated and sophisticated spin on the classic. So this one is, you know, supposed to be a little more roomy, probably a little more comfortable. Uh, this, for me, the 65 seemed a little snug. So I would probably want to look for uh, 64 in a Capital Oxford if I want to purchase another Capital Oxford. And one thing about the website, if you click on the last, it will take you to the shoes they are available that can be purchased built on that last. So if I want to go look for a Capital Oxford, I I could try on, I'm going to look for a Bond Street to try on, right? Or if I want a single monk strap, I can look for the Warwick. Or if I want a split toe uh, derby, I can look for a Crosby Street, you know, that kind of thing. So that gives you a guide. So when you go to try on shoes, try to try to try, try to try on the same style shoe, but in a different last to see if it will fit you better. Let's go back here. And as I explained before, the reason I even started looking at the last is because the boot, the Chelsea, uh, the Liverpool model I had felt so good. I wanted to find a shoe version or, you know, not really a shoe version, but a sh actually I was looking for a shoe that was built on the same last. And I just found out by researching the last on here that the 943B is the boot version of the 1943. So when I went to the 1943, that led me to uh, the Cornwallis. And, you know, once I tried it on, I love the fit and I still love the fit. And like I said, that is my favorite shoe from Allen Edmonds at this time, right? So you can see there's only two, <laughs> there's two, uh, two shoes, two styles of shoes available. 
the St. John's and the Cornwallis. So uh, that's a, a bummer for me if I want to purchase more Allen Edmonds shoes because this last fits me the best. Uh, let's go to the, which the one I just purchased is the Carlisle. And I think it's the 201. No. Now, the 201, I believe, is the Hopkinson's. Yeah, the Hops, Hopkinson cap toe. Uh, these shoes are more expensive than than the Park Avenues. I tried them on in Orlando, where I purchased the Cornwallis, and they actually fit a lot better than the Park Avenues. They were a lot softer. The leather was a lot softer. And he, the salesman, I believe, said that it was a different type of leather that is used in the Hopkinson. So uh, that is why they felt so so much better. Matter of fact, he's like, "Okay, I let you try them on, but I'm not responsible, you know, for for what's going to happen afterwards." You know, insinuating that I'm going to want to buy them, which I did, but I did not buy them. I did want to buy them, but I did not. But yeah, in the future, but like, you know, if I want some wing tips or something, I can go with these Jeffersons, and they are in fact on sale. Um, so, you know, we can consider something or the Bartlett. This is a cap toe brogue as opposed to a wingtip brogue. Uh, these boots look kind of nice. I kind of like those boots. So there's some there's some options available. Here's a Hopkinson for two forty seven. dollars uh, you know, it's pretty much half off more, than, a little less than half off. Not bad. So you might want to check the site out. Now, the other thing I want to look at was the Carlisle, which is what I purchased. Uh, to see what last they are built on, Carlisle. Thank you. So this is the Carlisle, which is just a plain, a plain toe Oxford, and it is built on the one hundred eight. So let's go back and see what the one hundred eight last is all about. And here's the articles down here, all about last. And I'm looking for the 108. So the 108 known more simply as the eight last. And right off the bat, you can see that it's more symmetrical. Uh, the 108 has a has the 108 last has an elongated four part with a tapered and flatter toe. It is similar to the 222 last with a longer, narrower fit and a rounded toe. Okay, so there you go. But just looking at the photo of the last, uh, I like just just from my eye, you know, where it catches my eye, I like it. And I like the 201. This one looks a little more narrow than this. Um, it mentioned the 222, but I don't even see a 222. So anyway, there you go. Hand sewn construction. There you go. So again, when you go, if you can get to a store, try on the shoes, whatever particular style you're looking for, try on that style, but in a different last if they have it available, because you may find one that fits a little bit better and you'll get more enjoyment out of the shoe. So I hope that helped you and we will catch you on the next video. Please like, share, subscribe and make sure you turn on that post notification. And even though I haven't done videos in a while, I will be posting more, more frequently in the future. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.